Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm here with another video. I was finally able to go to my Walmart store tonight and see if they had 2020 Top Series 1. I know it's been out for, what, a week, week and a half now? Uh, but my local Walmart is not the quickest on being updated, so they finally had it at my local Walmart. So while I was there, I went ahead and picked up a, uh, excuse me, not a blaster box, picked up a hanger box here, a 1098 is a little more expensive than Walgreens. I did have a coupon um, from a blaster box I bought earlier at a in another town. So I used the coupon on this. And then the uh, jumbo pack here, up 34 cards, which was like 548. And that's kind of the typical price that it's been. So we'll give this a shot. If you've watched my video from my Walgreens purchased, it was absolutely insane, the, the hanger box I got out of Walgreens. So there's no yellow parallels in this. But maybe Walmart can be just as good to me as Walgreens was. So we'll give it a shot. And I know there's been a lot of videos of 2020 Series 1 out there, but I thought I would let everyone see what I got since I was going to purchase this anyway from my local Walmart instead of just opening it off camera and not giving anyone else the enjoyment. We can share this experience together, I thought. So here we go. Miguel Cabrera leading it off. We got a rookie right off the second card here, Tyler Alexander. I do not know anything about Tyler. There's no logo on his jersey. What's up with that? Is this like a minor league picture where they just like photoshopped the Detroit logo on his hat? Like, do you guys see a logo on there at all? There's no number. There's no anything. That's kind of weird. I don't know anything about Tyler. It looks like he, he has a, just a minor league pitching record. Um, he call, got called up in July... And started a couple games, and those his, his stats there are from Toledo. So maybe this is like a Toledo uniform or something they just photoshopped out. That's kind of weird. All right, but it is a rookie. We'll put him off to the side. Obviously not one of the big rookies. Daniel Murphy. Uh, these cards do like to go flip and flop. So here we'll uh, see if we can do the best we can. Grichik, look at this. One card, now we're already flipping the other way. Carson Kelly had a nice year catching for Arizona last year. Arizona could be a pretty solid team. I know the Dodgers are just loaded, but... They could make a good run at a wild card because they've got some really, really good players. Uh, Christian Yelich, league leader. We all know what he can do. Goldschmidt, had kind of an up and down year. J.P. Crawford, hoping to get his career kind of on track after having so much hype as a prospect with uh, Philadelphia. World Series, Juan Soto was so good, especially in the, in the rounds leading up to the World Series, but he was even good in the World Series as well. Uh, I've had this run of cards before. Is the... Abreu league leader right after this. Look at that. This is kind of strange. You get the same run of cards. Those two are always together. Glaber, yep, I got this card before. I actually have three of this card now. Oh, this is a new one. Anthony Santander, I believe is how you pronounce his name. I like the, uh, that's the flag of Maryland, if you don't know what that kind of colorful scheme is. That's their state flag, which is pretty cool. Mike Fires, Peralta, another good player for Arizona. Kind of goes under the radar sometimes. Michael Pineda serving a suspension, but he'll be back um, after a couple months of this year. Garrett Cooper, Brad Hand, closer for Cleveland. Uh, I have like three of this guy now, Dario Agrizal, rookie for the Pirates. That's my second rookie, unless I've missed one. I'll put him over here with the rookies. Iglesias, I had this exact same run of cards too. Max Muncy, my man, hit one into the river or into the river into the bay off of bum gardener here's an anthony munoz we'll put him right there we got three rookies now uh, we have master and apprentice mitch garver and nelson cruz looks like they're going over some numbers scouting report maybe haven't seen that one yet now we're going landscape starling Marte. he also got traded to arizona brandon crawford great defender not the best on offense austin meadows had a nice year last year for tampa I think he was an all-star. Yankees team card. Cardinals team card. Oh, we have a rainbow, Andrew Miller. Uh, he's looking to have a bounce back here. He kind of struggled last year, if we're being honest with each other. Put him up top. Here's our inserts. Walmart has these Reese Hoskins inserts. Breakout talent. We'll kind of move that off to the side. We have a card for the 1980s best. Best batters, Ryan Sandberg. I would agree with that. 
got his autograph through the mail over uh, the course of last summer. He still lives in the Chicago area, I believe. And then we have these turkey reds that are unique to the retail packs, I believe. Marcelo Zuna was St. Louis, but he signed with somebody. I can't remember who. Atlanta, I believe. And then we have uh, Marcus Stroman. And then one more rookie card, upside down, Brian Abreu, a pitcher for Houston. So that first pack, uh, not nearly as on fire as my Walgreens hanger box, but we will see if we can improve on that with our hanger box here of 2020 Series 1. There are 67 cards. Uh, the, the fat packs or the value packs, whatever you want to call them, have 34. So this is almost double the amount of cards, one card away from being doubled. Uh, I always like to look at the cross section here. Those off-colored cards are the um, turkey red cards. So that were a few inserts right in, in front of that. So we'll see what the hanger box can provide for us. I still do not have the Gavin Lux. I still do not have the uh, Bo Bichette. Excuse me. Apologize for the sniffles there. Carlos Correa. He just came out and had a pretty, um, man, I don't know how to describe it, pretty strong worded interview with Ken Rosenthal. Just came out today on MLB Network trying to defend Altuve and defend his guys. I appreciate his honesty because, to be honest, uh, a lot of those guys for Houston, their apologies have not gone over so, so well. Uh, Correa, Correa is at least standing up and being a man about it and trying his best to uh, to be honest, I think. And so I do want to give him some respect for that. I don't know if I agree with all the comments he made in the video today, uh, especially about Cody Bellinger. Um, but at least I'm going to give him some props for trying to be the man out in front of it and trying to explain and trying to come clean, I guess, the best way that he can. So Correa, I have a little bit more respect for him than some of the other guys on Houston right about now. There's Brian Abreu again. We just got his card. We'll just match it up right there. We got two Brian Abreus. Oh boy, we just saw this run of cards. Okay, Cabrera. Tyler Alexander. Oh, we got two of him. Let's just put him right here. Oh, what's going on right here? Look at this. Uh, there's my there's my other Cabrera. Let's see, Daniel Murphy. I have two Daniel Murphys now. The next card is Grichik. No? Okay, oh, we finally switched. I thought we were going to get the same cards that we got in the last stack. So we switched it up. Bobby Bradley, he's a pretty good hitting prospect for Cleveland. He came up for a while last year and did all right. Andrew Heaney, so we do have some new cards here. I was about to get worried. Another rookie, I'm really a fan of this guy. I think he's going to be really good this year, A.J. Puck. So now the rookies are starting to come in. None of the big ones, but we're doing okay. Brad Keller, Rule 5 pick for the Royals, and turned out to be the kind of their ace over the last couple years. Annabelle Sanchez, I was really glad to see him get a World Series. Um, he's he's kind of bounced around and been up and down, and he did a nice job last year. Marwin Gonzalez, he had to apologize for his actions. Uh, with Houston, Melky Cabrera, switch hitter. Don't know if he'll be in the league this year. I believe he got released by Pittsburgh last year. Otani, got to start out just as a hitter, and then they're going to slowly work him back to pitching. Buster Posey. Flaherty was an absolute monster the second half of the year last year. This guy is an absolute, absolute beast on the hill. We'll put him over there. He is very good. Brandon Drury, uh, kind of a utility guy. Steven Matz going landscape. Mets team card. Minnesota Twins team card. Marco Gonzalez just got a nice contract extension. He's He got traded from St. Louis to Seattle for Tyler O'Neill. And Gonzalez has so far has been the better player. Tyler O'Neill was a big time power prospect, and he just hasn't quite been able to do anything like the Cardinals thought he would. Lewis Thorpe, there's a rookie. I don't know a lot about him, but I did hear um, Rocco Baldelli talking about him on MLB Network just the other day. Gene Segura, I like those throwbacks for Philadelphia. We've got a Braves team card. Uh, Cubs, I've had this before. Right after the Cubs, do we have the White Sox? No, oh, okay, okay. They're throwing me off here. Roberto Perez had a really nice year last year. Looks like Alex Gordon may be there for the Royals trying to tag home. I believe that's Alex Gordon. There's Pineda again. We had them in the, him in the last pack. Javi Baez, going to be the cover boy of MLB The Show 2020. I don't know if anyone out there is going to play it on Get It. 
on getting it. I'm not sure if I'm going to or not. I usually get MLB The Show, but I don't know if I will this year. Chase Anderson, I think he got signed by somebody. Toronto, maybe? Kristen Stewart, Jose Arquiti, he was very good in the World Series. I didn't know a lot about him, but he was actually one of the better pitchers for Houston in the playoffs last year. My rookie stack is getting pretty big there. George Springer, I like Springer. Um, I liked him better before the scandal came out, but before that, he just seems like a nice guy. Jake Rogers, again, we're getting a lot of rookies. None of the big guys, though. Heimer Condelario for Detroit. Brendan McKay, a pitcher and a hitter. I don't know if they let him hit last year or not. Looks like he's just got pitching stats. Um, but he was a big-time two-way player through the minor leagues and even in college. Marisnik also had to come out and make, can't speak here, make an apology. He's with the Mets now because their defense was so bad. They needed to get someone who could actually field the ball. Um, we've got another rookie, Patrick Sandoval. So I'm hitting all sorts of rookies. None of the big guys, though. There's Fletcher. Anthony Kay, he got traded from the Mets to the Blue Jays in the Marcus Stroman trade. Started a few games last year. Verdugo, I actually really like Verdugo. Uh, he's the newest, one of the newest members of the Boston Red Sox now. Future star, Nick Senzel. Is he going to have a spot to play? I don't know. You guys who are closer to Cincinnati, are they going to have a place for him? I, man, with Eugenio Suarez and Moustakas and Castellanos and Votto and... Holy cow, where are they going to find room to play all these guys? Aquino. I don't, I don't know how they're going to make all that work. Nico Goodrum. Upside down, Kevin McCarthy. Okay. Ildemargo Vargas. Don't know a lot about him. Matthew Boyd was decent last year. At the first half of the year, kind of faded down the stretch. Dans Dansby Swanson, not former number one overall pick. Seth Brown, don't know a lot about him, but that's a rookie. Kenley Jansen, looking to have a bounce back here. He kind of struggled last year. Oh, there it is, the Gavin Lux. Nice, that's the first Gavin Lux I've been able to get. Now I'm just going to be looking for that Bo Bichette. He's the only other one I need out of the big four. I'm going to put him over here. Um, cover up Andrew Miller. Sorry about that, Andrew. Jacob Wogspack for Toronto. So we are hitting all sorts of rookies here. Angels team card. Um, there's Verdugo and Bellinger. Hollywood heroes. Here that looks like Ben Gamble and Keston Hira. Walk-off win for the Brewers. Austin Barnes. I like that picture. That looks like that one's in San Francisco. Amir Garrett. <laughs> Why couldn't they get a picture of him like trying to fight the whole, whole Pittsburgh dugout? Oh man, that was so crazy. I think it was Pittsburgh. I can't remember who it was he was going after, but man, he just said, all right, I'll take on the whole dugout. I don't even care. Rodriguez, who had was in one of the league leaders in wins last year. Ryan Presley has been a dominant reliever since going from Minnesota to um, Houston. Reese McGuire, catching prospects. That's a rainbow foil. Okay. Andrew Miller. What is with Andrew Miller? I'm all over Andrew Miller hype today. First we had the rainbow. Now we have the gold Andrew Miller. This one's numbered 447 out of 2020. If anyone's an Andrew Miller fan, they PC Andrew Miller for some reason. Let me know. I'll be more than happy to sell those to you for a decent price. I don't really collect Andrew Miller too much. There's Reese Hoskins. We got two in the hanger boxes for the very first time. Maybe a four, four hit game or four RBI game. First four hit game. And then Art Ribby King. We've got an award winner from the 1990s, Frank Thomas. He was, man, the big hurt. He was so good. I remember, I don't know if you guys remember, um, he had an upper deck card from like 1991, 1992. I bought it, one of the very first cards I ever bought at like a little street fair, carnival, something. There was a vendor there. The card where he is in the dugout, it looks like he's flipping off somebody. And that was like one of his biggest cards for a while. And I didn't even really realize he was flipping somebody off, but I just knew he was good. So I purchased that. And then there was a Scott Erickson. You guys remember Scott Erickson for the Minnesota Twins? I purchased those two cards at like little card. It wasn't, it wasn't even like a card show. It was just like in, at a fair. These people had a, had set up vendors and booths and stuff. Oh, there's a, here's a man right here, Ronald Acuna Jr. If you ever get free time, look up the story about how Ronald Acuna Jr. could have been a Kansas City Royal. Now, this kind of pains me because I live kind of in Royals territory. Ronald Acuna Jr. is the cousin of Alcides Escobar. And so he was always around the Royals. Um, 
he was around their spring training, around their facilities, whenever he'd be hanging out with Escobar. And the Royals had an offer to sign him. And then, like, at the last minute, the Braves swooped in and offered him more money. And the rest is history. Because now he's, what, one of the top 10, 5, 15 players in the game. And Kansas City had him under their wing this entire time and then got outbid by Atlanta. And it, it, it pains me to this day as someone who kind of follows the Royals. All right, Acuna, I still like you, though. You're still a stud. Josh Bell, I'm a big fan of him. We've got Blake Snell, classically famous on Twitch. If you like to watch Twitch, he posts a lot of Fortnite videos. Oh, we got two Gavin Lux. Nice, the turkey red of Gavin Lux. So this, this hanger box is nice. I'm going to put that right there. And then we got a Trey Mancini. had a good year for Baltimore. Oh, and then one more. Last but not least, another guy who I'm really looking forward to uh, watching this year, Jesus Lazardo. He is... Got all the tools that he needs to be a talented pitcher in the major leagues. Uh, he got hurt last year and just came up at the very end of the year, kind of like A.J. Puck. But with Puck and Lazardo, uh, Oakland has some really talented, really talented rookies uh, who, can, who may be able to, to really make an impact this year. So anyway, there you have it, guys. Don't want to make this video too much longer. Already approaching 17 minutes here. Uh, not too bad. I've seen definitely worse from the Walmart retail We've got an 85 card of Acuna. We got all these rookies. We hit two of Gavin Lux in the hanger box. Andrew Miller hiding under there. If anyone loves Andrew Miller, let me know. I'll get those two at a pretty decent price. And then the Reese Hoskins inserts, which I'm really not as concerned about. But there you have it. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. I appreciate you guys watching. If you do like the content, feel free to support the channel by subscribing or making a comment or liking. Um, I've been really appreciative of the support my channel's been getting lately. And I hope to bring some more good content to you guys in the future. So uh, with that being said, have a good evening and have a good rest of the weekend. And I will catch you guys in the next one.